Don't look like it come out of the silverware drawer, but I can scoop up soup with it. It'll make us a spoon. We're gonna need a spoon knife. I'm gonna use this big machete and we're gonna shape this into a little green wood spoon. I mean, we're gonna do a little slawing to take some of it off, sloughing, make these controlled chops, and then we're gonna go in and slough it off. And get some of that material off of there. Start shaping that handle. Small little control hacks is gonna give you a little better cutting range with this and it's looking like that's flowing up so we might do our bowl right here now we split that wood and a lot of reason we split that wood is because there's what's called a pith you see that little soft piece in the middle that would rot away if we just started carving so we got to split it down the middle to make sure we got a good solid piece that's not gonna break or begin to wear and rot down as we use it yeah, I think that'll make a fine spoon. This big old knife right here gives me a lot of cutting capability. So I can see a little spoon wanting to come up and show itself out of that wood. We just got to uh, get it out of there. Now we started getting a lot more shaping in the direction that I want to go, but now I need to swap to a smaller knife, do a little more of that controlled material removal. May not see it yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're gonna get this spoon to peek its little head out of this stick. Slawing keeps me from going too far, taking too much off, but you're kind of starting to see where we're heading with it. Still got a lot of rough uh, work to do on it. So now we're starting to kind of round off that tip to where we want it. And I'll probably get it in around here. But we're using, again, we're using our our bigger cutter. So we took this and we got a lot of material off of there. And we got our rough shape in. And I'm going to start working on a bowl here soon. So this is what's called a foreign hand rasp. You have your... Uh, more coarse sides, a flat side, a rounded side. And then That's you right. have your less coarse side. This is gonna give you the ability to, again, remove material and find that spoon that's in there in the wood. And you're, and you're just gonna be running it like a nail file and just rounding off all those edges. Just a few little tools gonna to give you a lot of ability to do a whole lot of shaping and and making and creating. So now that we've got a lot of that shape down to where we want it, we'll start using the hook knife and start digging out of us a bowl. We're starting to get that little bowl in the spoon. Been dipping soup before you know it. Now, one of the things you can do with your small multi-tool saws, kind of use it like a rasp. Uh, you don't start sawing in just one spot. You just kind of go through there and just use this removing surface material. And sometimes this can be a little uh, easier to do than rasping because you're removing more. Yeah, we're moving. That material is in between you and your spoon. So it don't look like it come out of the silverware drawer, but I can scoop up soup with it. Now what does soup have to do with it? Well, a lot of uh, the things you might hunt out in the woods, you're gonna be able to get uh, a broth or stew type going if you boil it over a fire in a pot of water. And you're gonna get a little more nutrients out of that kill than just the meat wrapped around the bones. You're gonna be getting uh, the nutrients out of the bones. It's gonna be good to have a little spoon to sip that out, it's going to give you a little bit of versatility. You say, why, why do you need to carve? Uh, why do you need to carve a spoon? 
Well, everybody loses stuff. I can't tell you how many times over the years growing up, I lost just simple things like pocket knives and, uh, you know, spoons. So yeah, knowing how to make your own out in a wilderness situation, you know, be able to eat you some stew. But uh, being able to make your own is gonna save you a lot of trouble when you, if you happen to lose the one you have.